Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Mama Aiman and you guys just call me Aiman. So this is our video for instrumentation subject and project that we are going to do is banana controller and before we start our project so let's see this video first that field that use a joystick it says military when, when we talk about the military this kind of thing is more perfect there's no mistake because in military we want to want a war right so in military we have an uh, unmanned drone uh, that used uh, for the United States and it is about the controller of the uh, last but not least the application the most widely used of the joystick is the, in the entertainment we uh, got a first controller introduced by SEGA from the Japan industry and until now we have the latest PlayStation which is PlayStation 4 uh, introduced by Sony Entertainment also from Japan and nowadays the latest kind of the joystick we use the virtual reality that's mean you can buy the physical movement just like the, uh, the last picture we can control the virtual reality and make it more fun and healthy for the end of time thank you Right, so hi, and this is the basic overview of the project, which is the uh, joystick control system. So, in an instrumentation system, there exist four basic blocks, which are the uh, transducer, signal conditioner, analog digital converter, and also the uh, display. And without further ado, let's start with the transducer. So, we can see here. Our transducer consists of a uh, potential meter or a joystick. So what the uh, transducer or what this potential meter does is that it detects mechanical movement and changes it into a change in resistance. Next up. So the explanation for this system is that by moving the contact arm along the track or inside the potential meter, a resistance change will occur and thus will be translated into an electrical signal. Alright, so this is our signal conditioner or signal conditioning. We are employing the use of a weak stone bridge. What a weak stone bridge does is that it detects changes in resistance and then it converts it into voltage change, which is easier for an instrument to detect. So, one of the legs, we do not know the uh, Resistance. So in that case, we apply our sensor or our potential meter on that space right there. So we can see here Rx. So we mount our potential meter on Rx. Next slide. So this is our analog to digital converter. We are using an Arduino Mega microprocessor or microcontroller. This is because a digital signal or a digital transducer only detects one or zero as an output. In this case, what if our output has a different voltage, such as 2.12? How does it measure? How can it produce an output? So, by using a microcontroller and the ratio metric value uh, equation, we can see that it gives a ratio metric value that is uh, different, thus producing a better output. And this is here the uh, basic. Uh, understanding of the graph between uh, time and the uh, voltage change. So one of the common, most common techniques used is the analog voltage to charge up the capacitor and so forth. And the uh, display. So for the display, we are using the Arduino. Uh, there's, there's a software in the uh, laptop. Thus, with proper programming, we can output the signal and get the uh, results. Right. So, Mobin, how does our circuit function? Okay, and today, now, I'm going to talk about the circuit of our project. So basically, our project consists of one Arduino, two Winston Bridge, and two operational amplifiers. For our operational 
differential amplifier, we are using differential amplifier. So I will talk about the function of this of this component first. So for Wheatstone Bridge, uh, this function to convert resistance into voltage and uh, operation amplifier. We want to measure the potential difference produced by the, and then convert by Wheatstone Bridge. Okay. So basically, how do we know we Supply fast voltage to the Wheatstone Bridge. Then the potential meter is that connected to Wheatstone Bridge will vary the resistance that will convert into the potential into the voltage. Then the voltage will go into the operation amplifier that will measure what's the dip, dip, the difference between the voltage produced from uh, this point and this point. So we have why do we have two operation amplifier? So we have two operation amplifiers because our joystick basically have the y axis and x axis movement. So for x axis, we have the right movement and left movement, and for y axis, we have forward and backward movement. Then, basically, what what detected by the operation amplifier we display on the laptop screen. So that is basically the how our circuit works. Alright, thank you Mubit Shahi, what is that? Oh, this, this is the calculation that we do First of all, we want to find the voltage at point A and point B What we use is the the Binet theorem this equation for VA and VB we use this equation when we, got, when we get the value for VA and VB we can know the potential difference which is the difference between potential at point A and point B we use the differential operator for VR we don't want, we don't want to amplify the VR so we use the same value for RF and R1 which is 10k kilo ohm. so we get the uni unity so when the value of RF and R1 is the same what, what you get left is VA minus VB for VR that's all So, so I'm Abi Robert. Ah, so I am Harun Aslan. And this is my friend. I'm all happy. Hi. Yeah, I, I am Chahi.
Assalamualaikum and hi, I'm Damu and Bain Muhammad.